Hi and welcome back to class of product development and entrepreneurship. I am Hitesh Sayani, assistant professor at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. This is lecture for concept development process. The learning outcomes of this uh, lectures are to learn the concept development process, to learn the concept generation process. Concept generation process is uh, the part or step of the concept development process. So in these lectures we learn the concept development process. So let me start the concept development process. Uh, before we start the concept development process, I call that the process uh, generic product development. And uh, you all know uh, now generic product development process because it is learned in last lecture. So there are six stages uh, like planning, concept development, system level designs, detailed designs, testing and refinement, and production framework. So if you look at the step of this uh, generic product development process, there are second stage is the concept development. So the uh, concept development process here I saw how to develop the concept. The uh, concept development process here I saw. In this uh, process, there are seven steps, and the input of this process is the mission statement that is derived from the product planning, and the output of this process is the development plan. So, if you look at the step one and two, that is uh, identify the customer needs and the target specification. So, establish of uh, establish of target specimen according to the mission statement. So, and then we are uh, there are third step is the generic uh, generic product concept. So, uh, input of uh, uh, identify uh, input as uh, identify the customer needs and target specification is considered to develop or generate the product concept. So next step is to select the product concept. So in four steps, we have to select the best promising concept which is generated in step 3. So once we select the best sort of product concept, then the selected uh, concept, how to test to the test product concept, that is the step 5. And after that, uh, step 6 is the set the final specification. So in step 2, there are the target specifications and after testing of uh, product concept, we have to uh, set the final specifications and step 6. And then we are going for the plan development. So the concept development process output is the development plan. So here are the concept development uh, process and the third step there are the generate product concept. So next we learn the concept generation. So if you look at the concept generation, the concept generation uh, takes the input as the customer needs and target specification and the output of concept generation is the number of concepts. So here I saw so only three concepts, but it is not necessary. There are only three concepts. So there are maybe 10 to 20 concepts at the output of the concept generation. So concept in concept generation process, by the giving the input as a customer need and target specification, so generates the numbers of concepts. So this is the for the concept generation. Now, if we look at the concept generation process, so the concept generation process deals with the set of customer needs and the target specifications as uh, shown in above figures and, uh, and the result in a set of product concepts from which the team have to select the final selection. And concept generation includes the mix of external this, uh, external search, creative problem solving within the teams, and systematic exploration of the various solutions. Out output of concept generation is uh, mainly a set of 10 to 20 concepts, and each concept is represented by the sketch and uh, brief descriptive text. Now, next is the concept generation method. 
So here I show the five step concept generation methods and then here you can see that there are five steps to generate the concept. So first step of this concept generation method is to clarify the problem. So objectives of this uh, step one is the understanding of problem. After that the uh, problem decomposition. So whatever the problem that have to decompose it into some problem and then focus on the sub, or sub problems or critical sub problems so at the end of the uh, first step the output is the sub problem and then we have to solve this uh, problem by the external research or internal research so second step is the search uh, search externally so externally search aim of this externally search is to uh, Extract the uh, existing solutions or existing concepts to the sub problems or overall problems. And for that, uh, the main objective is take the leader, uh, take the lead uh, users, uh, interviews, uh, consulting the experts uh, or search patterns according to the sub problems or the overall problems, and uh, search the literature review to uh, for the existing solutions of problem. So these are the objectives of the search uh, externally um, step and at the end of these steps we get the existing concept and there may be uh, three uh, third stage is the search internally. So in this uh, the individual or persons and the team or groups uh, uh, creativities and knowledge or knowledge is considered so uh, it is nothing like uh, brainstorming and at the end of this stage you can get the new concept. So now after the step 2 and step 3 there are uh, existing concepts and new concepts. So next step is the explore systematically. So fourth step is to explore the concept in systematically like the classification tree, con uh, combination, tables etc. So at the end of this step you can get the integrated solution and then you have to reflect uh, on the solutions and the process. So the custom, uh, constructive feedback is considered to check the uh, reflect on the solutions and process. So these are the five step methods to generate the concept. So next is the concept selection. So after, after concept generation, the so next step is the concept selection. So here uh, if, if I saw the output of concept generation in terms of the product concept 1, product concept 2 and product concept 3. So out of this output of concept generation, we have to select the most promising concept by doing the analysis and that is nothing but the concept selection. So concept selection uh, is the activity in which the various product concepts are analyzed uh, and uh, sequentially uh, eliminate to identify the most promising concepts. The process usually requires the several iterations and may initiate additional uh, concept generations and refinement. So once the concept is selected, next step is the concept testing. So as uh, we selected the best promise or most promising uh, concept is the concept, product concept 2. So that product concept 2 has to be there for the customer's needs whether the uh, uh, our selected uh, concept satisfies the customer needs or meets the customer needs and uh, next is the uh, test for the market potential of product and uh, identify the shortcoming which must be improved during the further development. So in uh, concept testing, the, whatever the product concept is selected, that must be the test for the customer need market potential of product and identify the shortcoming. If the customer response is poor, then the development project may be terminated or uh, the earlier activities, some earlier activities may be repeated if necessary. Set. Next is the setting final specification. After the, after the testing of concept, we have to uh, set the final 
uh, specifications. As a, a said in uh, target specifications, so we have to revise the target specifications after the testing of content and uh, we have to make the final uh, specifications. So here I saw the product development process and here uh, in earlier target specification is the fix and after the test of uh, product concept you can see here uh, uh, the set the final specification. Next after final specifications next and last step of product development process is the project plan. In this final activities the terms, the teams create a detailed development schedules, uh, develops a strategies to minimize the development time. So in this, uh, the, the development teams uh, develop the strategies uh, so that the uh, developing time uh, required as minimum or less, and identify the resource required to complete the project. So in this uh, stage also. There are identified which are the resources is required to complete this project, and the output of this uh, whole pro uh, concept development process is the development plan. So in this lectures we learn the uh, concept development process and the, what is the high step concept generation process. So in our next lectures we will learn the reverse engineering process and the challenging in product development process. Thank you.